What is happening people, this is welcome back to another video. I'm T2 Sugars, a Welsh graffiti artist, and today I wanna show you how to do a doodle grid. Now a doodle grid would be that you wanna use a small image and blow it up to large scale. Now, I've done some gridding already on the wall, so what I've done is I've just marked out some B's, A's, and some other shapes and patterns and everything, and what that's gonna be is it's gonna be like a base for how I'm gonna put down the image. Now the image I have is of a girl running, so I'll be in a little gym here in Dallas Community Center, and um, the, I've just searched online. I've literally just wrote in running woman, and that's the image I've got. I don't know any, I, I'm just gonna use that as a basis to work off to then do the painting. So what I'm gonna do is then, I'm gonna take a picture of the wall. So I'm gonna stand dead in front and take a picture. So I've got a picture of the wall now and that's how it looks. See if I can get it to focus. So that's how it looks on my phone. So this is the app I use, it's called Bazaar. Let me just zoom in so you can see it. It's there, little B, and um, what it is, is like a image manipulate, um, manipulation app. So here's a couple of the grids that I've used previously. So I'm gonna hit the little plus on the bottom, gonna add a new photo. We're gonna take the picture that we've just taken of the wall. That's gonna upload onto the screen. We are then gonna select the photo that we wanna add onto it, and then we're gonna scale it up, and then drop the opacity. That's the main one, opacity. We're gonna drop the opacity down, and then you can start seeing the grid underneath the, the woman. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm just gonna position her as I want her to be shaped onto the, the wall, and that is how then I'm gonna mark out each spot. I'm gonna walk you through every step by step, so this is how I then go in and mark out. I've zoomed in on the image now so that we can see. So we're gonna use this point here and this point here. So here are the two points. So I've zoomed in, used the zoom tool inside the app. I've used the O here and then the plus sign here. So what you can see is, see if I can get the camera to keep focus on the phone. So as you can see, the hairline comes under the O and goes up over the plus. Oop, up over the plus sign. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm just gonna mark curve line and get it to come up over the, the same trajectory as it is on the, the doodle grid. So the hair is from here, goes just under the O and up over the plus. So that there is the top line of her hair. Now I'm gonna do another one, which will be down here, which I'm gonna do the chin, under the chin and the shoulder. So what I'm looking at is the W, and if I wanna zoom in a little bit closer, we can see that the W goes, the, the chin goes just through the top of the right side of the W. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna angle the can upwards so that it sprays into the painting and not outwards. And what I'm gonna do is then, I'm just gonna mark the chin here, and the chin then comes up from this piece, up towards where the Y is, so it goes, and that there is the chin, and then the neck comes down and then back to the W. And that there is the chin, and then this is the top of the shoulder, as you can see right there. So I'm gonna mark out the rest of it now, and then bring you back in. And by the way, if you're ever spraying indoors, I've only just done a little bit of spraying, but wear a mask all times. It's, you know, really bad things you're breathing in with uh, spray paint. So uh, just look after yourself. Right now, so I've got everything marked out. Everything's not perfect yet, but what the proportion of the body is, but where the most detail is, it is in the face. So what I've done is I've just laid out some more gridding system where the face will be. So as you can probably make out now, there's like some weird lines on the face area. Because what I'm gonna do is then, I'm just gonna zoom in solely on the face 
So what I've done is I've added more grid in this part. I'm gonna take another picture of it and superimpose that. So, now you can see, let me zoom this in a bit. So now you can see that I've got the face and I've got my image. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm just gonna add in this detail. So what you can see is I need to add a top to the ponytail a little bit higher and the forehead needs to come forward a little. That now gives me a perfect indication of where everything needs to go and I can use that grid, that new finer grid on the face to give me what I need to do. Like the shoulder here you can see is kind of in place but the neckline is slightly out and I'm just gonna slowly come in and alter all these little areas which will then give me a more detailed, give me a more detailed um, grid and a, gr a better outline. So that's my next step is to refine the face and then first thing I need to do is the background which is just going to be some generic shapes and bits to it and then come in and then do the actual body work and the face. So yeah. So yeah, now you can see that I'm using a MTN 94 can which is a low pressure can which is brilliant for finer detail and it's a little bit spitty the cap that I'm using so it kind of gives you that little bit of detail that you need when you're doing smaller stuff like this and to stop the drips I use my finger uh, which is a brilliant paintbrush when it comes to doing spray painting and I'm just refining now all the details in where the mouth is and the bits which I don't need then which will be covered over with the background and that's how you get the finer detail in spray painting. So, we've got the background done. Now, I'm just gonna use the image that's on my phone to replicate what I'm painting. So, the image now, obviously, we can see there's more detail in the face, if I can let it focus. There's more detail in the face. Obviously, the body shape is pretty easy to do. So, we're just obviously gonna then work away, chip away at all the little bits. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the people in black and white with a little bit of a colorful background. And then that is what I'm going to do for this piece. So, yeah, slowly we're chipping away at all the little details, here and there. And then if we've got real fine details like it is inside the year, I then get a magazine, I rip up the magazine and make curves in it, and then spray inside the curves just to give me them little bits of edgings and things like that. So, yeah, I'm just going to chip away at this now. I've got another one to do on the other side over here, uh, right there which is going to be a guy lifting some weights and then there's a wall right behind you, just a small one which we're going to put some motivational words on and things like that and then the gym area then in Dallas Community Centre will be finished I've then got another load of stuff to do straight after that in the cafeteria then and then I've got another load of work to do in the cafe area where we were going to paint like a big train and some heritage stuff and then we have another small room where we're going to put some colourful uh, cheerful artwork up on the wall because it's like a uh, consultant's room. So yeah, got a lot to do, very little time. So yes, I'm all done with the girl running and then we added a couple of bits extra on the other side. I can and I will. We've done another little section here with harder, better, faster, stronger. If you want to giggle, watch the next 30 seconds.
and that is what you get when you follow me on Instagram. Now, I'm going to start doing the other side, and what we're going to be doing on there is a guy curling a dumbbell. So, I'm going to do the same principle, mark out a doodle grid, pinpoint where all the bits of the body is, and this is a nice one because it's only showing a little bit of the face. Now, the eyes are probably one of the hardest parts to do on the head, because if you don't get them right, they look a little bit wonky. So yeah, I'm gonna get everything marked out on this one. I'm just gonna check it on a time lapse and I will go over everything at the end. So let's go and watch me do this one now. Let's go. Come on. So yeah, I'm all done here now in Dallas Community Center. All the murals are done in this area. We have the bodybuilder and the running girl. Now, I hope you learned how to do a doodle grid in this video. Uh, if you do have any questions in regard to that, just drop me a comment down below. I answer all the questions that need to be answered. Um, little trick, I added in this like abstract background because then that helps then cover over the doodle grid. And uh, if you see any big murals like that and it's just a simple um, s uh, figure, with a, like a funky background, it's normally because they're covering over the doodle grid. But yeah, my running girl, obviously then the arrows and little bits of splatters and that, we're covering over letters or numbers, and then we've done some little extra bits down here. I can and I will. Then in the center then, we have like a center console with electric board would be. That has the harder, better, faster, stronger. I hope you guys enjoyed that little 30 second clip of me making a fool of myself and then obviously we have the bodybuilder and then covering it over with the with the abstract shapes which helped me cover my doodle grid so yeah thank you for watching my video and uh, i hope to see you in the next one peace make sure you like and subscribe